Hey, expert investors, Paul here. Super interesting headline. I want to get uh, cover this with you. Ontario needs to add 1 million new homes over the next decade to keep up with population growth. So that's a tickler, meaning that uh, article probably has seen a lot of views and I've gotten a few emails about it. So I thought we'd, we'd talk about the meat here. And if you've been following my videos, you've been following my newsletters, if you've been following uh, my classes and the, the, the reports you've been sharing over the last several years, this should not actually not be a surprise to you. We've been talking about population growth and the effects of population and growth for investors for at least the last five years, okay? But it's, it's starting to reach mainstream media, mainstream views more than ever. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, uh, well, A, once it reaches mainstream news, it means most people are aware, uh, but most people aren't doing anything about it or most people aren't positioning themselves to profit from this. So it's a trend that's not going away and I wanna show you how to profit, but let's read deeper. So Ontario needs to add 1 million new homes over the next decade to keep your population growth and address the snowballing supply gap, which means currently demand is here and supply is here. And with the rate of growth of population, this gap is going to increase, continue to increase. It has been increasing, it's gonna continue. So essentially we need to build more units. We need to build more houses to support all this population growth, okay? Pretty obvious. What's not so obvious is the quality of the houses being built. I don't mean the quality of the construction. I mean, does it fit the sampling? Are most people single or couples? Or do we need more family units? The reality is we need more family units. I'm leaving this here so you can read it yourself. I'm not going to sit here and read this through you on a video, but we need more family units. All the one bedrooms and bachelors and one plus dens that are being built in these condos definitely have a place in our market, but can it house all the family units that are coming up? The answer is no, not even close. So, and uh, construction costs in the city are up. Land costs in the city are up. Everything, prices in the city are up. Everything, the cost of everything is up. So even if they started to build more two and three bedroom units, the cost is prohibitive. You can't be paying 900 million, 1.2 million for a family to get into a two or three bedroom condo. It doesn't make any sense. For that kind of money, you might as well get a detached home further away. And that's what most people are doing. As you can see, there's been an exodus out of the city for different reasons, of course, but starting a family isn't so easy to do in the downtown core, right? Uh, so this is why you're seeing the GTA continue to grow not only in population size but in prices too demand is insane outside of the gta uh, uh even where i live in here in oakville on the west side it's it's absolutely bananas but it's happening everywhere to the east to oshawa to belleville of all places uh to uh, north very really we know about that further to midland okay west kitchener waterloo cambridge we're all very familiar further west to Woodstock, further west, uh, London it's his own little center, but further west to Woodstock even, southwest Hamilton, Brantford, and then further southwest Hamilton, Niagara. And if we could go past Niagara, we would. But guess what? <laughs> There's nothing past Niagara. Might as well be a black hole because that crosses the border into the US, okay? Family, family, friendly homes needed. Okay, the estimate is the province is currently short nearly 65,000 homes based on population growth. And they expect 911,000 more families will be formed in the next 10 years. How are we gonna build that? First of all, most of what we're building is what you see right here. It's all condo units. So how are we gonna build 911,000 family units? We're not, we're not, period, the end, we're not. So what can you do? Families are gonna to have to make a choice. Go further and further away. Don't come here at all. Settle for less. You know, and the ones that settle for less are gonna be settling for, say, a, a half a house. If they were gonna rent the whole house, they might have to rent the main floor of a house or the basement. It, it, that's just the way it goes. That's the model we saw in, say, Manhattan. The, the price you're spending stays the same, but the, the product you're getting gets smaller. Uh, so it, it, can this, uh, uh, problem be solved in the next 10 years? I, I doubt it. So we're seeing more construction and th there's money to be made there, but there isn't enough land. And the land that's there is becoming more and more expensive. 
So the, 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 the reality is here, this is a major, major, major trend. And uh, other than yell at your politicians about it, they're not going to do anything about it. What you can do as a landlord is profit from this, okay? Uh, while still helping people, okay? It, position yourself ahead of the trend. If you know places outside of the GTA, outside of Toronto, are exploding with growth, why not buy property there that can be rented, and not only rented, rented and produces cash flow. And this way, your 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 uh, your investment is in the f is 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 in the way of a freight train. This trend is like a freight train. It's coming, 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 and it's gonna hit. And it's already hitting in a lot of spots, but time is just going to do uh, more justice to this trend and not only do you stand to profit from pop uh, from price growth value growth rent growth you're going to get the cash flow once you get the cash flow you get the freedom and once you get the freedom you can live life on your terms right uh, it, you you can as we say here invest in a life worth living that's the most important part invest in a life worth living while providing housing for people good quality housing for people okay until next time talk soon